So quite recently, I was looking for a new pair of wireless earphones because my AirPods were starting to get old and worn out, meaning that they lack new features. So I set myself a budget of $300 and I came to the conclusion that the AirPods Pros were the best buying option. And I'll make another video going into more detail of my research process. But coming to the decision of the AirPods Pros was surprisingly hard, despite the multiple reasons that say otherwise. And it was mainly because of the majority of people that I watched had no idea how to review wireless earphones. Because this is how they describe the audio quality. It's pretty good. This is how they describe the noise cancelling. It's pretty good. Guess what they said for transparency mode. It's pretty good. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly review wireless earphones. And for this example, I'm going to be using the AirPods Pros. So let's first start with the unboxing. Now feel free to skip this part as it's not really that important. So now that we've unboxed these, the first step is to talk about the design of the wireless earphones and try to compare to other earphones as much as possible, as it helps the viewer distribute the AirPods Pros to other earphones. And let's start by talking about the case. For the AirPods Pros, they have a glossy outlook and are roughly the same size as the AirPods 1s and 2s, except it opens up on the side. The inside of it is quite wide, so it's quite easy to fit in the AirPods into the case. The edges around it are quite thin, so there won't be as much dust on it. And if you've owned AirPods before, you know how much of a problem dust gets on AirPods. That's a real... I don't even... I... Can you even see it? Whatever. You get my point. Next start by talking about the earphones themselves. So in this case for the AirPods, they have a silicone tip. Fortunately, it comes in three different sizes, so it can fit in your ear quite well. The outer part of it has a very small stem compared to the AirPods 1s and 2s. It has a quite a big microphone and a vent, so it prevents in-ear pressure. Unlike the Sony WF-1000MX4s, which don't have a vent, so they have a lot of in-ear pressure on the, in their earphones. And the microphone is used for transparency mode and noise cancelling. The connection for these is also in the inside, so it's a side speaker slash vent. And there's also a sensor right next to that speaker. And unlike the AirPods 1s and 2s, this is actually a pinch control instead of a tap control. So you just hear a nice clicking sound instead of this whenever you're listening to a song. And at the very end of the stem is a microphone. So now that we've talked about the design of the earphones, next start by talking about the audio quality of these. Now for the AirPods Pros, their bass and treble are very strong. For the bass, I wouldn't say it's the best compared to other wireless earphones such as the Sony WF-1000MX4s or, or MX3s, or the Galaxy Buds for that matter. But you have to take into consideration that Sony really focuses on their bass compared to their treble, and the AirPods still keeps a good balance. And treble-wise, I would say it's just as good as the Galaxy Buds. So all in all, its audio quality is evenly balanced with treble and bass. Next start by talking about the noise cancelling. Now for the AirPods Pros, I wouldn't say they do the best job compared to other earphones, such as, such as the Sony WF-1000MX4s, as they don't have a vent on their earphones, so, that is, so that's much better noise cancelling. Unlike the AirPods Pros, they, have, they actually have a microphone on the other end, so it's bound to pick up some noise from a far distance. But despite all that, if you just play some music over the noise cancelling already, you, you don't even hear a thing. Next start by talking about the transparency mode. For the AirPods Pros, I would say they do the best job compared to other wireless earphones. Because for the Sony WF-1000MX4s, they don't have a microphone and vent, meaning that they can't pick up sound that easily. And regarding other earphones as well, they all really focus on noise cancelling, but once again, AirPods Pros keeps a nice balance between noise cancelling and transparency mode. Lastly, talk about day-to-day -day issues. I would say the number one problem is the microphones on the outside. Now you may think that that's, that's quite helpful, it helps for the transparency and noise cancelling. Now don't get me wrong, that is helpful. But let's say you were putting on a hoodie, 
Um, the microphone tends to rub up against it quite a bit, and it makes a lot of and it makes a lot of sound. So I would recommend either putting on noise cancelling, or or just turn turn off noise cancelling and transparency mode altogether. There was one more step that I forgot to mention previously, and that is exclusive features to the wireless earphones. For the AirPods Pros, it's spatial audio. And you may think spatial audio is quite useless because you can only listen to movies with it. But quite recently, Apple Music has implemented spatial audio into their songs. So pretty much every single song you listen to in Apple Music has spatial audio. So you probably don't know what spatial audio actually does. Well, your generic earphones will have sound going into your head here. But for spatial audio, it feels like the audio is all around you. It's all around your room. And I'm going to make another video going into more detail of spatial audio. And now that I'm talking about it, it may not sound too exciting. But believe me, if you listen to it, you'll be quite shocked. That's pretty much how to properly review wireless earphones. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And see you later. Oh wait, I forgot to slap.